Who cares? It doesn't even matter. It's bullshit. Mm. And you get stabbed by Darth Vader, you survive. But you know how and then you survive again when you're in a quiz or when you get stabbed. But, but you know, not? but you know, the male yeah. dies. Okay, but. The- buddy, hey, we're coming at you <laughs> once again. I, uh, yes. So, <laughs> just really quick, we weren't planning on coming back live for this time, but. He really wanted to talk about I'm it. I'm gonna be late to work for you guys, so you guys better like this one. <laughs> I, uh, sorry, right. uh, sorry, morning shift. Uh, uh, sorry, real quick. Hey, once again, LTG coming at you with Rod with Zeke for PSS After Hours. Always remember, things are getting a little weird with what we're talking about today. We're gonna divulge a little bit from our favorite topic, which is the paranormal stuff. And we're going to talk about something that just kind of started. Calm down, Rod. Wipe your jeans. It got, it got under my skin this weekend, uh, but Rod wants to talk about it. And so, actually, I want to talk oh, about I it. Oh, I want to talk I'm about it now. Rod, so, <laughs> all right, Rod, the new Obi-Wan episode. Oh, my God, dude. Break, break it down for me and your feelings. Uh, I don't remember much for it. Oh, damn. But you liked it so much, but you can't remember. I liked the episode, but it's been so long. Okay, so what a week? Mm, mm, Not I, even a week. No, yeah, it's been a week. But the thing is, I haven't talked to anyone about it because he hasn't watched it. So we're gonna spoil it. I'm really unforced, though. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So if I remember right, they had Leah with them, and they were trying to get information from her. So she's like, "Well, if I'm gonna give you information, then I want something in return, right?" She's like, okay, well, what do you want? And I don't know what she requested. I think she wanted to see her dad or something like that. And then um, since she said no, they took her to that uh, machine. I forgot the name of it. That was the old episode. I'm talking about the no. new episode. No, in the new episode, they took her there. No, 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 no. The new episode, they were on a planet. She had to crawl into the air vent. She had to mess with stuff to get the right thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new episode. So on the new episode, when... They show them they're in a new planet after they escaped the um, Inquisitor's uh, mm-hmm. uh, base thing. The little place in yeah. the water. And I blah, forgot blah, the name blah. of the Inquisitor place. Uh, who cares? It doesn't even matter. It's mm-hmm. bullshit. Mm-hmm. But it's Go important ahead. to the Star Wars story. So anyways, when they get to the planet, um, um, once they escape, Darth Vader finds out and he is pissed. Like, really pissed. Like, bad. So he goes in there, opens the doors, and starts choking the hell out of the third sister and um she's like he's like you felt me once again and this and that and then she's like but wait i put a tracker on them mm-hmm. he's she's like i know where Obi one is going and he's like oh really okay okay so now let's get to that episode so they're on that planet what did you like about that episode <laughs> Uh, honestly, I like how Darth Vader was portrayed in that episode. How he just grabbed that ship and just pulled it down with the force. All right. Now, see, there's the only thing I'm going to agree with. The only thing, only thing I liked about that is to show that Darth Vader was so powerful. Oh, yeah. He could just pull a ship down, rip the walls off, and deal yep. with it. And we saw freaking Ray just go, and struggle yeah. with it. And yeah. he just <laughs> stopped it in his no. tracks. <laughs> yeah. So I like that. But let me tell you something. This whole bullshit about, I don't want to go down this particular path, but I'm going to go down it just real quick. This whole... There's a disturbance in the forest. A lot of people are going to get pissed off here in a minute. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. No, there are a lot that are going to agree with me, but there are a lot that are going to be pissed. Here we but go. But it's fine. Everybody's ha- everybody has their own personal feelings, right? They once again made Obi-Wan and all of the males look like idiots. But Leia, a freaking five-year-old, sure, she's supposed to be, what, 11 or 12 in the, in the series? Nine, I think. But nine, dude, the girl's like six. And yet she, you know, she had her little floaty thing that they put the tracker on yeah. and it's evil. And it went up and it shut the doors and blah, 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 all that stupid shit. And then Leia, decide, they say, oh, we got to get up in the air vents and we got to relocate the breaker to open doors. Me, me, me. Oh, Leia can do it. Oh, the three-year-old. 
The three-year-old is smart enough that magically she can get up there. She knows electronics so well. But then again, go, oh, I know the breaker to hit. But no, then again, she's no, a Skywalker. No, I don't remember give a this. Shit. I don't give a shit. She no. actually is Skywalker. She's, like, fuck okay, but Luke was dumb as, okay, but listen, Luke was dumb as hell and he was 19. Okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah he was. She's freaking, she's <laughs> yeah, freaking five. Are you everyone? Of course I am. <laughs> she, Are you? She crawls up in there. She's like, oh, I can do it. Oh, find the... Find Find the red breaker. They said, find the red breaker. And then she's so smart, she realizes, it's not a red breaker, it's a blue breaker. Hey, you guys, and you, then the shit blows yeah. up. Fan credits. Yeah, you, you, you males are dumb. But, I'm but, a little female that's five. But I yet know, again, there's blue. look. It's so stupid. There's look. look now, here's the, the other part. Here's another part that I absolutely hated about the stupid thing, right? So the Inquisitor shows up. They're blasting at these doors that the rebels are hiding behind, right? They're oh, yeah. That was very really stupid. They're blasting at the doors. They're blasting, blasting, blasting. All of a sudden, Obi-Wan comes walking up the door. Inquisitor comes walking up. They start talking. Blah, 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 blah. And then Inquisitor goes, oh, no, I know you want to kill the, I know you want to kill Vader. I want to kill Vader, but I don't want to work with you. And then she sticks her lightsaber through and cuts the thing. Why didn't you do that at the beginning? Yeah. Why did you even shoot the goddamn okay, door? But the whole thing is dumb. Okay, but the whole uh, thing is dumb. It's but, all dumb. <laughs> no, it's dumb. It's, it's dumb. Fucking it's stupid. stupid. It's, it's stupid. It is stupid. <laughs> the whole thing is stupid. It is poor writing, and it's because it's it's, it's because it's Deborah Chow that is di- that is directing it, and it's because Kathleen Kennedy has anything to do with it. It's absolute shit. It's absolute shit. Now you look. No, I'm sorry. You look at the Mandalorian. You look at Book of Boba Fett. John Favreau, Dave Filoni, we've talked about it. Great shit, yeah. both those stories. Both those shows, freaking phenomenal. Off the charts, stays with the canon. You look at this shit that Deborah Chow and Kathleen Kennedy put their hands in, and it turns our favorite characters into absolute pieces of shit, and it turns these, these minimized characters into these things that are so awesome that they're so good. It's because like, they weren't on, Star dude. Wars fans. It just shows it. Exactly Be- my point. Then why the if you fuck look at do canon- they have anything to do with it? Why did Disney? <laughs> exactly Disney. my point. Exactly <laughs> Easy, my point. Easy. We don't want to piss off the mouse. So, so why are we sitting here? The only thing, and it, it completely surprised me that they actually, well, no, it didn't. Because you know why they made Vader as powerful as he was? Because he's an evil male. Probably. I guess. But he's like, an evil male. My whole thing is they need to go about it with canon. Because like, if it's canon, I Obi-Wan agree with is... You legit like he can keep up with mace but tell me have they yeah shown, have they have they legitimately showed him that is that up to this no. point no they haven't they've shown him as a horrible little weaselly guy at that's this like, point oh, they show Leia, them Leia, Leia, was Leia, you go do this Leia, you go do that i'll go over here i'll talk to her i'll do this it's just wrong, dude. They're, it's they're, wrong. they're portraying it as Ray's better. It's when wrong. Yeah. Obi Wan had legit. Of course they are training, and it's because it's Deborah Chow and Kathleen Kennedy. Period. End of story. People want to argue with me. They want to call me a you know a bigot. Whatever they want to say, I don't care. The bottom line is, Deborah Chow and Kathleen Kennedy have done this to the Obi Wan franchise, and it sucks. It absolutely sucks. You look at Mandalorian. You look at Book of Boba Fett. Those were phenomenal shows, and they were overwhelmingly accepted. Overwhelmingly accepted. Don't don't take my word for it. Go look. They were overwhelmingly accepted. Sure, you'd have one or two people that didn't like them, or 10 or 15 people out of all the people that watched them, but they all went, no, this is what Star Wars is about. It's not about trying to create this division of males are idiots, females are the best, you know, it, it, why? Why do that? There's no reason to do that within it. Look, you have strong female ca- Leia within the original within the original trilogy. Leia's a badass. Like, dude, she was she was she kicked ass, man. Like, she was everybody understood. No, Leia, like, she's in charge of the Rebel Alliance. What the shit? <clears throat> like, one who cares? thing. One thing I liked, and I think it was stupid of her to, to try to, to do this is. Go behind Vader's back and kill him. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to kill that dude. Like he's got eyes behind his head. Yeah, and he knew. Now here's the thing. But here's the thing too, though, right? Do you think she's dead? 
No, she's not, remember? No, because it's clearly it's Star Wars case, so she was stabbed. She was sliced, so she's fine. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Except for if you're Qui-Gon, okay? <laughs> exactly, but if you're Qui-Gon, who's a powerful master, no, you don't live. But if you're her, if you're the Inquisitor as a youngling, and you get stabbed by Darth Vader, you survive. But you know how... And then you survive again when you're an Inquisitor, when you get stabbed. But, but you know, but you know, the male yeah. dies. Okay, but, the but female lives. Come on, dude. Like, okay, but you know, Grand Inquisitor didn't he look, die too in the show? But canon, he's alive. So he's, he's still alive. alive. But, but the agenda, the agenda is what gets me. Look, I get it. I get it. Okay, you but want, no, hold on. Let me finish this. I get it. Look, here's the thing. My ex-wife, sergeant with the police department, sergeant over the crime lab. I mean, one of the smartest women I've ever met in my life. She could do her job. I could never do her job. Women are able to do anything men can do. Up to a point, I agree. Look, sorry, women can't be Navy SEALs. <clears throat> sorry, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You cannot lower the standards to make it happen. I don't care if this is controversial. This is the truth. No, because we're, all the SEALs, we're, all the we're SEALs out really there- really gonna reach people right now. All the SEALs, <laughs> trust me, with, with the, all the SEALs out there are looking at me going, thank God somebody's saying it. Because all the SEALs, if they see this, they're going, exactly right. No, no no female can pass buds. Not going to happen. Look, there are just certain things. But here's the thing, too. I was also the biggest proponent when I was, when I was in charge of the SWAT team. I said, if a female can pass our, pass our PT test, if she can pass our shooting, if she can do everything that you're supposed to do, then I, I, I don't care if there's a woman on the team. If she could do everything I can do, I want her on the team. Now, SWAT's different than being a Navy SEAL. But we had females come onto the team that actually could pass the test. They shot better than other guys and they got onto the team. And you know what? Welcome them with open arms. Awesome. You're a member of the team. Thanks for coming. You did what you're supposed to do, but we're not lowering the standards for anybody. But there's where I look at this whole Star Wars thing is just because the fact that somebody's a female, they try to make her better than anybody else. Man, come on, build it up. Make make it show that show that Ray worked as hard as anybody else. She doesn't just show up and naturally just because I'm a female I have more power. Like, come on, yeah. dude. Like just And just, swings the lightsaber like a baseball bat. Yeah, <laughs> right. And and then you you have you have I saw a funny I saw a funny short little video that they showed they showed the lightsaber battle between uh, Anakin and Obi Wan. Mm. This crazy I mean which is badass in, in, in Revenge of the Sith, right? Badass. I mean, they're just going at it, going at it, going at it, boom, fighting each other, move for move. And then they show Ray fighting Kylo Ren. And that, <laughs> and that absolute horse shit of a lightsaber battle. Like, seriously, come on. It was we go, we go, We go from that Obi-Wan and Anakin to that shit. <laughs> And she wins just because she's a female, and, and she's keep it that way, more keep powerful. Kylo was trained Dude. as a pa as a Padawan too by Obi Wan. Mm -hmm. Okay, by my Luke. question is: Well, by Luke. Sorry, by Luke. Sorry, my, my question bad, my is: bad. By Luke, do you think Kylo Ren is really a Sith Lord? And my <laughs> I'm actually, I don't mean to cut you off, but it's kind of funny. It goes back to a meme that I saw the other day. It was like. Uh, Luke talking about Darth Vader and how he can, he can, you know, he's my father. He has still good in him. <laughs> and then it goes fast forward 10 years. He's having a bad dream. Talking about Let's kill him. <laughs> <laughs> like how stupid, right? It's how bad. absolutely stupid. Okay. And, but uh, oh. here's my thing with the being stabbed and being uh, cut in half. Okay. Qui Gon gets stabbed, doesn't get to live. Darth Maul gets cut in half, he gets to live. No, 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 cuts in half twice. Don't forget about that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. he gets to live. But, but the Grand Inquisitor, she's a youngling. She gets stabbed by Anakin, who killed every other youngling. And in I'm the pretty temple. sure in Revenge of the Sith, he didn't stab him. He went <laughs> slice. <Yeah. laughs> but, but this particular youngling, this particular youngling, because she's a female, he stabs her. Didn't cut her in half. Didn't cut her head off. Everybody else dies, but she lives. 
Then she comes back. I'm going to get revenge on him. He stabs her again because he's too stupid to realize I stabbed her once. She not, she lived. I'm not going to cut her head off this time. So he stabs her. Like, come on. She went for the head. It's the sh- <laughs> Yeah, I'm Ace is one. Right? Like, hey, Marvel, right? Like, right? like Thor should have gone for the head. As Thanos said, should have gone for the head. Exactly. Come on, dude. You completely lose me when you do stuff like that. It, and, and it is so clear. It is so clear. I'm sorry. It's so clear of the agenda behind it. No, I agree. It's yeah. so clear. Because like I said, you watch the stuff that John Favreau and Dave Filoni have their hands in. Mandalorian Book of Boba Fett. And I went, this is, this is cool. Because it doesn't, there's no, look. Gina Carano's character in The Mandalorian. Fucking badass. She's pretty hot. She's probably, dude, she, look, she's pretty dude. Hot. I badass am, hot. There's I have been. People in this world, I guess. I, I mean, she's a badass, but she's pretty hot. I have been a fan of Gina Carano yeah. since her days when she was fighting Muay Thai. So for the last 15, 20 years, probably, right? Oh, no, she's gorgeous. She's right? a gorgeous woman, dude. Right? Dude, she's look. Gina Carano's my secret crush, dude. Like, I mean, nah, she nah, is nah. Not she's my, she was my first. Oh, dude, yeah, not anymore. I guess <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. But no, dude. Like, Gina Carano is Gina Carano is badass, dude. But here's the other one that's awesome. Do you know the other one that's awesome that was on Book of Boba Fett? She was a Mandalorian. She played one of the. She played one. Oh of the yeah, Mandalorians. I know. She, I, I don't consider her a Mandalorian. But there's a couple of them. One of them. Sasha Banks, the WWE wrestler. I didn't see her. Oh yeah, do you know who I'm talking about? Sasha, I know, I know who Sasha I Banks is. Mandalorian. I didn't finish it yet. Oh, you didn't finish it? Okay, dude. When you watch it, so Sasha Banks, Sasha Banks was a W. I don't know if she's still wrestling she's WWE. Serious. Is she still at WWE? Yeah. The girl is gorgeous. Oh, dude, no. Hey, she, mommy. She is gorgeous. Come see me in Salt Lake. Uh, oh man <laughs> she's gonna kick my ass I got a, <laughs> look man i got like gina carano and sasha banks and oh uh, she is gorgeous i don't want to say anything but here's the thing with sasha right so sasha banks is she's got a good head on her shoulders right yeah. So she's not one of these people that's just, oh, I'm a strong female because I'm a female. No, nah, follow, she's pretty- She follows the canon and does, and, 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 and listens to what's going on. She has a good head on her shoulders, right? Go watch her podcast with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. She, <coughs> does one, she does one on the Broken Skull podcast but, um, with him. Does she come out on the show? Cool. What's that? Does she come out on the show? What do you mean come out? Sasha Banks. On The Mandalorian? Yeah. Yeah, she's on the show. What episode? Dude, she's one. Of, so there's there's three there's three of the female Mandalorians on the show on the Mandalorian. Yeah, right. Or it, it might even be the book. Well, no, it's Mandalorian. I'll look it up. So the the main lady is. Um, damn it! I wish I remember her name because she's a pretty lady too. No, you're fine. I'll just. But 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 look at it because there's three of them. But there's, gosh dang it! I wish I could remember her name because she's a pretty lady too. I got a crush on her too. All right, it's like Gina Carano, her, and Sasha Banks. Those three, I'm like, oh, they're beautiful ladies. Yeah. But anyway, those three, but they're, um, but Sasha Banks and this other lady, I can't remember, who yeah. kind of leads the Mandalorian females. She's a complete badass. But they're, they're I mean, Hell yeah. they're just badasses. Um, they're badasses because they're badasses. Not because they're females, they're just because they're badasses. Speaking of badass, though, I don't mean to cut you off and change topic a little bit, but... Before it goes off, I got some homework for you tonight. All right. We got some homework for you. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell him. Is that where you were? All yeah. Right. Speaking of badass, you need to go oh, on Amazon dude. tonight and watch The Boys. Oh, dude, I, I'm already there. Okay. I've, but, watched, I've watched all three seasons. Oh, You're dude. caught up already? Huh? You're, you've watched all of them? I've watched them from the beginning. Are you kidding me? I'm you a watched comic, the new season that came out. I'm a comic book geek. Are you shitting me? Dude, what do you think? So are you caught, you're caught up on this last week's episode? Of course episodes? I am. Oh, my God. Oh. Why did we fucking lead with this one? Oh, my God. Of course I am. <laughs> Sorry, we're not really going to work tonight. The, tw- the 24-hour V? Like, come on, oh dude. My oh, God. my God. Who, you God. God. Who do you guys think you're talking to? Oh. Okay, we got an episode planned out tomorrow. Who do you think you're okay, talking okay, to? Okay, listen, listen up. Tomorrow? First episode we're starting off with Homelander. Just, Homelander. Just Homelander. Homelander. Oh. Dude. Oh. Dude. Is this just a ticking time bomb right oh, now? Dude, dude, I'm scared. Oh what's my god, happen. dude. When he was like, oh yeah, let's go fly. <laughs> they get to the roof and Sonic Boom is all like, 
<laughs> oh, he just blew, destroyed him. Yeah, but Soldier Boy. One thing I'm though, I'm interested to hear how that. Oh, out. dude. One See, thing. I told you. I, well, I know what. I know my shit. Well, you guys, one he, thing I, though, it like, took me months to get him to watch. You guys it. look at me like, if you watch the boys, <laughs> who do you think you're talking to? All right, let's get let's sign right, off. Get us out of here. All right, people, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Reddit. I said that? Yeah. Yep. Reddit and Twitch at PSS After Hours. Where can they send us mail to? Send us emails at uh, paranormalafterhours at gmail dot, uh, gmail.com. Hey, say anything that you want to, anything you want us to cover. Once again, hey, remember, this is LTG signing off with Rod, with Zeke. Remember a couple of things. Be safe. Watch your six. Keep your powder dry. And always remember... Things are going to get a little weird. Yes, they are. See you guys. See ya. The boys, you guys looking at me. Like, what? I watched the boys, man. Who do you guys think you're talking to here?